Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys and girls and everyone. I do not have a script, I do not have a plan, but I did know that I do want to film this video. My mom actually gives me requests for videos and she requested, I'm moving a lot, she requested this for a video. So I thought about it and I was like, you know what, that is like a really good idea. So what do I want to talk about? I want to talk about the fact that I am moving. I am moving in with my ex. Cur well, he was my ex. He's currently now my boyfriend again. Justin is his name. He's actually on this channel from years ago. Um, he's the one who helped me set this channel up. He used to take, like, do the filming, set it up do the shots and do the editing for it, the first few videos. Long story short, he's on the channel. If you guys are interested, go back and look. We're talking about Justin. Um, hey Justin, <clears throat> I know you're probably watching because I probably tell you to watch it. Like, hey, I got a new video. Please comment and like it. <laughs> um, it's probably boring, <laughs> but so, should where should I begin like five years ago we met at work right we met at work he was dating somebody else cool whatever I got to know him more and I started to like Justin you know I was like he's like the funniest person ever thought he was hilarious and um I was friends with his girlfriend at the time and so they broke up this is not going to sound good, you guys. I know this is going to sound horrible. It's going to sound awful. We, we, none of us were ever close friends. I wasn't ever close friends with his girlfriend or him. But once they broke up, I told Justin that I, I liked him. You know, this sounds like middle school. I know. It sounds like we were, we were adults. And I know this is shitty on my part. I get that. I've already, like, you know, I've already thought about that a lot. It's been, like, five years, four years. It's been a while, so I've already had time to think about it. It's been, it was shitty. But at this point in time, it's like, it doesn't matter. She's married. Me and Justin are together. So, at, who cares? Whatever. We start dating. It's cool. It's fun. We, like, live together almost immediately. He lived with, he came and lived with me and my parents because I was still living at home. Like, I was, like, 21, 22 or something. I'm just gonna tell you how I remember it. So... Yeah, so when we got together, I was like, didn't know who I was. I was like miserable, like just, you know, newly sober, trying to figure that out. Didn't figure it out because I relapsed like every week. I was drinking like once, once a week, twice a month, like whatever it was. I don't know how often, but it was, it was often. But so he remained friends with his ex-girlfriend and like me and her tried to like be friends but I just thought the whole situation was weird it was like you know like I get it they were together for so long and she wanted to remain friends with him and then I just like came in out of nowhere and was like well he's my boyfriend like I get that that's like toxic it's weird I know um I just was like insecure with our relationship like they were living together in the beginning parts it just it was weird like I'm sorry like I know I wasn't in the right I could have handled things differently, but I feel like if anybody were in my situation, they would have thought it's weird, you know? So I was like super jealous about stuff like that. And, um, then we got an apartment together and, you know, I just figured I'm like, oh, I'm living on my own. I got a boyfriend. Like my whole life is better. It's going to be amazing. And then it just like, wasn't because like, I was still like, miserable inside my own brain just like not happy with who I am because I don't know who I am and I'm drinking and I like got into trouble for that and like just feeling like a loser like I hated my job we worked together and we both hated it so much we all we did was work at a pizza place but <clears throat> I hated it so much so we were, t me and Justin were together for like two years, lived together for like almost the whole time. He was in school and I was just working and, you know, we'd have fun. We would, you know, we've always had a good relationship. We would always laugh. We can always just 
do nothing and it can be fun like no matter what Justin's a big movie guy I'd go watch movies with him you know I, I didn't really have any friends I feel like a lot of this comes down to just the fact that I was just so miserable like in my life I was just not very happy and not for like you know I didn't have any reasons to be maybe depression maybe anxiety maybe drinking a million I guess I had a million reasons and a million reasons to like love my life at the same time but um so eventually I remember is October 12th Justin and I worked together one shift it was horrible like probably was like super busy we had opened and it like probably was just like shitty for some reason I don't remember why it was so shitty but I remember getting in the car crying on the way home I just knew it we were like I just knew it and so we got up we got upstairs we we're sitting down talking and I'm like what's wrong like what's going on and basically just he breaks up with me okay I don't know if you guys are even gonna want this whole story I might have to cut all this out but anyway so he breaks up with me and you know within the next couple weeks he goes and visits his family in Ohio and I move out I go back home while he's on his trip I pack all my shit and I'm out deuces during this time he was he was planning to move back to Ohio from like November to like January January 1st we were on and off like being friends to like don't talk to me like it was it wasn't good like I wasn't expecting it and I was also you know I was very codependent at that time like extremely like Justin would literally wake me up in the morning with coffee otherwise I wouldn't wake up <laughs> like otherwise I would not get out of bed um just like I relied on him for so much like almost everything so and I didn't realize that that at the time um I guess I just like took advantage of it and was like sweet this is what that's like you know Justin's my first relationship so I just figured like that's what it's like is like they just do everything for you even though I wasn't really doing much for him so like I realized that I was being very selfish November to January we're hanging out we're not hanging out we're hanging out we're not hanging out like not like not doing anything like weird or hooking up or anything just like literally hanging out like making dinner like just like having a good time and then like I'd be like please stay like I want you to stay we should get back together and he'd be like no I don't think so and then I would cry and go home and wouldn't talk to him for a week and then I would go back over there so it was like very weird so eventually he moved he moved to Ohio he went back and lived with his dad which at this point I'm glad you know at this point I'm happy that he did that he needed to do that he wanted to go home for years I got my own apartment and COVID happened. So he was living with his dad in Ohio and I'm in my own apartment in Minnesota and COVID hits. So I'm not working. I'm getting all this money. I'm miserable. I'm heartbroken. I'm drinking a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And it just wasn't good. Like we stayed friends on FaceTime. We stayed friends on Snapchat. Like we were talking, we were not talking. It's like the same thing. Like we would talk for a month, then we would stop talking. Then we would talk again. Then we would stop talking. Then I think the longest we went without talking in the entire breakup was like six months. We didn't talk at all. And just like back to square one, miserable, wanted to die, like hated my life. Absolutely like dreaded waking up. I'd rather dream because my dreams are better than real life like literally <clears throat> and so then I guess I don't really remember how we got back to talking but we got back to talking and then I moved into this apartment and I love this apartment a lot I'm able to live with my kitty I got another new job and getting that job literally changed my life like my therapist told me just go down there apply if you don't get it oh well if you get it it could be awesome and I went down there applied got the job right away and it's just been great ever since <sighs> um 
but at the same time I was getting this job me and Justin had rekindled I don't know we were talking again I don't remember the details exactly I think it was around Halloween time we we had been facetiming for like hours at a time so then I was like okay like I'm gonna come visit and I had joked about this for like the last two years we had been broken up for two years at this point I had always joked about like oh I should come visit oh I should come visit and then one of these times I joked about it I looked up a flight and it was like hundred and eighty dollars and I was like yeah okay like what if I actually did come visit you he's like okay so I bought a ticket I literally just bought the ticket and was like all right cool I've never been on a plane by myself you know never flown alone don't like flying it's like a two hour plane ride but still I was like whatever it's gonna be fun oh well and this was in October so the ticket was for December 1st so I got time to plan for it I let my work know let my family know my family's like what the hell are you doing like you're gonna go see this guy that like broke your heart like what is happening why are you doing this like whatever and I'm just like we're friends like why not like it's cool we just like talk on snapchat and talk on facetime it's not that big of a deal like just let me be me everyone's like you're gonna get your heart broken again whatever and Justin's like yeah we'll be friends like Justin's gonna sleep on the couch and I'll sleep in his bedroom whatever so the time rolls around and I get on the plane and I get it over there and he's driving to come pick me up and I see him in the plane or well I'm off the plane and I'm walking out and I see him and I put my stuff in the back seat get in the car and I'm just like oh my god what have I done this is so weird like why am I here right now I literally instantly wanted to throw up I'm like it's been two years since I've seen him and I'm here for a week like girly what are you doing but instantly like we get to his apartment I drop my stuff off we go out to eat we have fun we go get tacos and it's literally like like no time has passed super super like fun as has always been you know we've always had fun every time we're together no matter what if we're going out to eat we're doing the dishes we're cleaning the apartment like whatever we're doing it's fun and it's just it was fun so um you know we got matching tattoos <laughs> and we were we were exes at the time we got matches matching ex tattoos you know we're just like wild and we're just having fun and then we're also like ooh, we're dating because we're like hugging and kissing and like whatever so <laughs> it just was like instantly just like oh yeah so so then in a week you know we had all this fun I went and saw his um, his mom his stepdad I saw his friends we all went out we did stuff alone like it was just like a fun week that we had and then I was leaving and I was like okay well that was fun bye you know and so <clears throat> once I got home we were obviously facetiming and talking and we're like dude like what's what's happening I don't know I don't even know how it happened we're just like yeah I guess we're dating again and now we've been long distance and I'm moving to Columbus Ohio and living with him in his apartment um, you know once we realize that that's what's happening that I think I'm gonna move there Justin came to visit for Valentine's Day in February <clears throat> just like you know be sure he was here for like a week and we had lots of fun he met my friends he came to the cafe that I work at he hung out with my parents he's about to get on a plane and go home and he extends his trip for three more days or two and a half more days I feel like I just went from like our breakup to like now here we are but yeah it's like kind of hard to even explain how it happened because it just like was unexpected you know I think I'm a good manifester not not that I'm like over here creating like evil potions and being like Justin get back together with me like you know casting a spell on him but I mean I do manifest a lot in my life and for two years I'm like we're 
we're gonna get back together we're gonna get back together i had time to date other people he had time to date other people neither of us did me and justin are very very similar people like almost the same but also like we're like the same but i'm emotional and he's like the logical like he's the left brain and i'm the right brain i am the right brain so like we're like the same but opposite and i feel like that works out really well um you know justin like moving back to ohio and being on his own for two years um i think was necessary now it's may so we've been technically we just picked our our anniversary day as, as the same as it was last time um which is december 19th and i had visited december 1st so it was like whatever and so it's like may 6th now and we've been doing long distance it honestly kind of feels silly it's just it's just weird to have somebody that you call your boyfriend or some like your partner that's so far away it's like a very different thing but it's also i feel like it's been really good for us because i was so codependent beforehand and now it's like completely the opposite where you know the only communication that we have is through facetime in about two months now i'm going to be packing up and moving and freaking driving 700 miles away and i've never left minnesota <laughs> like i've literally never even left the small town that i went to school in. that's something i've always like yearn for more i've always wanted to do more i've always wanted to experience more and i'm excited for that like i don't want to leave my family and i don't want to leave my nephew and i don't want to leave my job and my bffs but i think it's a sacrifice that will be worth it in the long run um, i'm very excited to be with justin and to have our own little home and to make new friends and have new experiences and you know just go out and live life differently than how i've been doing it becoming happy with who i am and i actually genuinely like who i am but i do have to be sober i don't like myself when i'm drinking but when i'm sober i'm awesome so that's my like new journey that i'm moving on um I'll be taking my cats. Yeah! I hope I'm not like missing anything or forgetting to say anything, but just know that I'm very excited. I'm very nervous. I'm scared. I could cry. I have cried, but I think it will be worth it. And if it's not, that's life, baby. You know, you live and you grow, you take risks. And you find out. And I'm very good manifester. I'm talking about it. Like, like watch out for me. Because this. And like this. Like straight fire. You guys, I got this soda light necklace pendant to stop me from having freaking panic attacks. This is chrome diopside. This is labradorite, morganite, gold. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's what's happening with me, girlies, and everyone else. Hometown girl living in a lonely world. <laughs> Okay, I think we're done now. Bye. Come again. Um, trying to make more content. So.